um, welcome to another time of uh, lecture on um, catfish farming. Today, I'm, uh, I'm going to grant the request of uh, one of my subscribers. Um, he said I should um, lecture on uh, how to uh, raise <coughs> fries. That's, um, you know, the... Uh, you know the little ones of catfish after hatching. After hatching, they are called fries. Uh, I, you know, I, I just told him straight up that uh, raising fries is quite a complex and dif and a difficult thing. It's like it's actually like uh, looking after a little baby. It's even much more than that. You have to actually be on ground for 24 hours. Uh, at a certain time, like um, the first, <clears throat> the first few days, especially first, uh, first three days, and um, and then up to two weeks, it's it's quite complex, it's quite difficult, it's complicated, and uh, it's more difficult because <clears throat> most most uh, of us will not be able to assess or or, or get the. Um, you know, proper materials that could uh, test proper temperature, set proper temperature, um, test the uh, water pH, and so on and so forth. So most of us that hatch will just go proper local ways, you know, like ordinary ways. And it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I'm not trying to discourage anybody here. I'm just saying it's quite difficult if you do not have the patience the resilience the time you know to put in i would just say go for grow out do grow out alone but if you can you can go for the hatchery because people are doing it you know that have all this um, all the time and the energy <coughs> to do it so you know after um, hatching the the, after the eggs are hatched, uh, the fries, because that's what they are called at that stage, the fries should be left for at least three days without giving any food at all. And if they make it um, in those three days, then they can be fed. But before that, you have to understand that um, you do what is called flow through continuously. Flow through is um, allowing water to pass through the exit pipe under your tank and then allowing water to flow into the tank from your pump <clears throat> on top of your tank. But the level at which it, it will flow out will be very, very, um, you know, uh, little, almost like a trickle. Now, this is because the fries are too small for too much pool. It will kill them. And then the water flowing into the tank should also be like a trickle, just trickling in, trickling in like that very, very slowly. Because if you increase it, you will kill them. Now, you keep this on throughout. It has to flow all the time like that like that flow like that flow like that now after three days then you can feed but before three days your fries will be eating the yolk that the, you know they come out with from their eggs um, <clears throat> if you feed them before three days you kill them um, I do I feed them uh, after three days I don't know whether some people feed them before three days okay and it's good for them go beautiful but i feed them after three days and uh, when i feed i feed with just a pinch just a little because if you feed them much at at that time you kill them kill the whole lot if you feed them too small you will affect their growth they will stunted they can get sick and they will die so you don't feed too much and you don't feed too uh, you don't underfeed and you don't overfeed 
you see, you see, this is why I say it is very complex. You have to know what to do. You have to know proper timing and all that. Even the water that flows in and the water that flows out, you have to know how to set it, increase it a little bit, reduce it a little bit, like that throughout. Now, after three days, when you feed with a pinch like that, a little, just spray into the into the tank. Um, when they pick the feed and eat, that is when they get into the stage we call fingerlings but before that they are known as fries we we'll call them fries you know tadpoles like you know that kind of thing then after three days you feed they become fingerlings so from then you begin to look after your fingerlings from three days up now when it gets to two weeks if you're lucky to get to two weeks then it means you have crossed the danger stage not to say they won't die but from from two weeks they have developed some bit of immunity and so on and so forth and they begin to get stronger so it is possible that they might not die if you still follow up you need to still follow up you need to still do all that you have been doing there the water that is flowing in the water that is flowing out you have to keep you know checking it and the exit pipe the mouth of the exit pipe where the water flows out from you have to you have to you have to cover it with net close holes net net that has very little holes so that your little fries and fingerlings don't flow out when the water is going out i'll show you something something like this this type of thing you know this is a clo very closed net very little holes you put it around a pipe like this tie it round with rope and then block block it with the ex block the exit pipe like this with it you know then you have your flow through going on continuously your flow through must go on continuously non-stop you have to be checking it day and night continuously for um four weeks at four weeks you can say you have uh, um standard fingerlings full-grown fingerlings at four weeks with proper feeding you have to timely increase your feed bit by bit you increase your feed you increase how many times you feed twice i like to feed twice or once very well to give them time to rest but you can feed twice you can feed twice if you can manage it but i like to feed once or twice just take my time as they grow i add a little bit more a little bit more i don't underfeed i don't overfeed you know keep doing this making sure that the flow through is on checking on them observing any movement if it is they, they have a if the water is getting a, a little bit uh, you know dirty you can increase the flow the flow through a bit by increasing the uh, what do you call it the flow out i mean the exit pipe increase a little bit and then increase the pump that is coming a little bit you know past it the trickle level okay if you see it's clean you can reduce it a bit just make sure that the, the thing the flow through is is, is 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 doing well and all that you know then after about four weeks you have your uh, fingerlings you can now you know sell off or you keep it to post fingerlings that's about six six weeks and then you know sell off you know there are so many other things most probably i'll come up next uh time to tell you um how this goes okay but this is as much as i can take for for today you know uh, do subscribe to this youtube channel for informations like this when they come out so that you can be the first to get them <clears throat> my name is mr greg bye for now